So you got a 10 rib setup finally? Kind of. We do. So 10 rib setup. Still need a belt. Uh, still need a little bit of shimming and whatnot, but there's some gigantic pulleys. We'll get them nice and tightened down once the blower's on here. But We did have a little bit of slippage with an 8 belt, or 8 rib, and so maybe going to 10 will help. And it didn't come with any of the bolts? <laughs> didn't. I reached out to them. I, you know, I'm sure it was just an oversight, but yeah, it didn't come with any of the bolts. But it's a good, I mean, good piece if you look at the tensioner and the, and the water pump pulley. Yeah, they're really they're nice. quality pieces. We've also got throttle position sensor mounted. Uh, both of these from 99 to 04 Cobras. Uh, idle air control. Made sure that all the wiring was going to work for those on the rat's nest that's sitting on top of the engine for now. We're also going to be doing the hose routing for the air jacks. Going to start here at the rear. Effectively, we're going to mount a T fitting right around here. Um, they run in series on each. Yeah, right? Series? Series? Not parallel. Whatever. <laughs> They're going to run in series on each side of the car. Put the T fitting here. Um, obviously, have a line running that way and a line running that way to those two jacks. And then, what happened to the box? Eventually, we have to figure out where the taillights will be. This will be our external connection to it. So, you just hook up your, I believe it's a nitrogen tank, and fill it up from there. Here's the hose routed to the back. Obviously, we're going to trim it up a little bit. Just wanted to leave some slack in there in case we need to jiggle things around. And it comes. You can see up through there. And then, got the line semi started up there. Down through the trans tunnel, just in semi-permanent position, and we'll work on the front later. Austin is fighting the wiring, so you're going through. This is the hole that was there for the clutch line. We're not using a cable actuated clutch, so I had a block off plate. Instead of drilling a new hole, though I'd like to see if we can reuse this, and this will feed like this, actually along this outside frame rail for the headlights, horn, and, uh, and fan. Got the wiring running it along the frame. <clears throat> he also installed the horn. Battery test, take two. Also got the throttle body cable started and he had to bend this out a little bit just because of the width of the manifold but it appears to work I don't know how we're gonna bracket it in the back air system is pretty much done like to test it but it would require taking it off the lift and this doesn't really line up you can see the throttle actually works we just need to route it how close is that? We're about to find out. Man, that would suck to do a 10 rib and have to go back to an 8 rib pulley. Yeah, not happening. Put the 10 rib pulley on the supercharger and check out that clearance to the throttle cable. Woo! So much room there. It fits. A little fat Holy on my crap. finger can get in there. Well, look. If this starts wobbling, we've got big problems. If yeah. this lets go and goes further, we've got even bigger problems. <laughs> Holy crap. Was that the electric choke? Yeah, the choke's extending it. It's heavy for a different engine setup. But like brake switch we'll use, clutch safety switch we may use that. Just a ground. Just a ground cable. Front harness we'll need, so that's going to tie into the fan, the headlights, horn. It says hot rod only. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. Hazard, flasher. I'm not even sure what that is. 
headlight switch. Well, so we'll use, we could use these wires to wire to our headlights. So that'll be under the dash. Rear harness, we're, we're using some of that for lights and such. Okay. Sending units and choke, we're not. Inertia switch, maybe. We might use theirs. So that's if you get in an accident, the inertia switch stops the fuel from flowing? Yeah. Okay. Dash harness. Speedo clock. I mean, we're not using any of those gauges. Coil EFI crank. We're obviously not using that because we're using Hollies. Ignition switch. Maybe. Radio heater wiper. We don't have any of those. Alternator. Sure. Does the Holly one have an alternator though? Or staller? I don't think so. Where's the Holly? It's laying in there. So we're going to do a little soldering here to make the map wiring go into our connector, go into our map sensor. Just like so. So you got the dominator all plugged in. Starting to, just making sure we have everything we need. We need an extra power cable. We've got our VVT hooked up. Actually, VVT is not here. No, you'd have to put it into the module. VVT goes here. These, I think, are going to mount right there. We'll make a plate. Yep. Just mount them right inside the wood foot well. It's a good thing you have workbenches. Covered in stuff. You gonna try to secure that somehow? I wanna see how it cuts first. Looks like it has all of its guts hanging out, but there's actually progress going on here. Like an alien attacked it and it all just spilled out the side. Yeah, you can see the Holly back in here through all that. <laughs> I'm yeah, trying to get... Everything's, all the computers and modules are mounted to this plate. And we're going to pull the plate off, wrap it in carbon fiber wrap, put it back on. That would nice. Yep, we've started. Fuse block and relays will probably just get mounted to these rails here. Yep. So easy access and easy to mount. Building a template to figure out how to mount the seat in the car. And then Austin is... Drilling for battery cables and the cables to apply power to the ECU. <laughs> so he's got this battery box mounted in here. And that's a little cut out of the battery. We don't actually have it yet. And I'm just going to leave that. What else have we done? Do you know? What else have we done? So battery box, we've uh, cut all the holes to route the cables. You can see from that side. The back wall there. It'll be behind the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. So these grommets are in. I need to order two more grommets, so it's going to go in underneath in through the car. here and then up. Yep, and then straight into the battery box. We'll have loose wires dangling. So this mess actually has a purpose. Then it's going to get fastened. The next step is uh, behind the dash here. We will be putting in the, um, like the bus blocks or bus bars and uh, battery terminals. Well, also, we're about to run our kill switch. It's going to go over there by the driver. Yep. Far left side. Probably right into that, actually. Yep. Seat is drilled and in. Need to replace a couple of the bolts. And then do the same thing on that side. But don't need to do that side until we get the wires in. So that's probably a next weekend project. Turning the fan on? I don't know. You're just randomly applying voltage. Oh, there's the horn. <laughs> so there's horn. I think we just scared the crap out of some people on YouTube. <laughs> there you go. There. 
I know it's been a while since I posted an update, but Austin and I travel for work a lot, and unfortunately at this time of year we've both gotten really busy, so it's been hard to come out with quality content that I think you guys like. Um, definitely a big shout out to those who have stuck with the channel from the beginning. I really appreciate it. And um, talking about the future of the channel, my next racing videos are going to be coming from SCSN in Las Vegas, where I actually got trackside access, which should be awesome. Um, I'm actually going to be heading there directly from a week-long work trip, so my holiday season is definitely going to be jam-packed. That being said, thank you for watching and have a great day.